complete vacuum pump set comes with everything you need to start investigating how low pressure affects different objects. It comes with a high vacuum pump, a connecting hose, three balloons, an acrylic vacuum pump plate with a rubber pad, and a bell jar. The initial setup of the kit is very straightforward. You have to place the four rubber feet on the acrylic plate, and then you also have to blow up one of the included balloons. Getting ready to put the vacuum bell jar onto the plate, make sure the hole in the rubber plate is lined up with the hole in the acrylic plate as well, or else you will not be able to create a vacuum. Then you place your object in the center, and again, make sure the bell jar that you're using has the hole on the inside. The only additional materials that you require is a simple flat-headed screwdriver to tighten the radiator clamps on the vacuum plate and onto the vacuum nozzle. You have your complete setup all ready to go for your experiment. Now before you do any experiment, please make sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions for the vacuum pump. This model comes with no oil in it, but the oil is included. So make sure you properly fill this with oil and understand all operating instructions before you do the experiment. The experiment's all set to go, so let's turn this on. This has to be open to allow air to come out. As you can see, the balloon is getting larger and larger as there's less air pressure pushing down on it. Now, before I shut it off, I'm going to lock this, then shut the pump off. Now, I disconnected the hose, but it's still going to hold a vacuum because I locked this lever. So now what you can do is ask the students, what will happen if I let the air back in? Well, if the air pressure goes back in, it's going to increase the pressure on the balloon and squish it back down to its regular size.